Hello Neurohackers, today we're going to cover the install process of Git, Bash, and Anaconda on your computer. I'm following the instructions set by Earth Lab, University of Colorado, since they seem to have set up a process the same way that I would do it. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. The first step is to install Bash for Windows, which uh, unintuitively also installs, it's called the Git for Windows installer, so it also installs Git for you. Once you click on this link, it'll direct you to this page in which the um, download for Git should automatically start. I pre-downloaded that and should look something like this. The version numbers might be different. We'll say yes, and we will accept the defaults, except for the editor. We're going to change that to nano. Vim is not as friendly if you're well, if you don't know what Vim is, use Nano. And if you'd like to learn Vim, yeah, sure. Keep it on Vim. But just be warned that it does have a bit of a learning curve. And we will keep that on the recommended amount, on the recommended selection. We'll use that. I'm going to check out Windows style. Yep, yep. We'll keep that. Keep that, keep that, and we will not install yet. That should install. And then going back to the instructions here. And I just choose, um, I did not use the Windows default console window. So that was one deviation that I have. So that should install git and bash. Then the next step is to install Anaconda. So a slight difference here for me as well. I'm going to install Miniconda just because it's a slightly smaller footprint on your hard drive. So it doesn't come with all the extra packages that Anaconda comes with. Doesn't mean you can't install them, it just doesn't come with them by default. Don't want to view the release notes. We will launch it. So you'll get a new low command window for your uh, bash installation. There we go. Alright, so Python 3.7, we've all moved on to Python 3 now, and we'll most likely, uh, your machine's going to be 64-bit, so in case you didn't know, uh, you can probably make an educated guess, or, well, if I had a gun to my head and just had to guess what type the computer was, I would guess 64-bit. So I pre-installed that as well. We'll click on this, go through the setup. I agree. Just me recommended. So we'll keep it installed just for me. And I will add Anaconda to my path. So it'll be available via the git bash. And this should eventually download everything so that we have access to Miniconda. And after that, we will be able to open the terminal. Again, our Git bash terminal in order to interact with Miniconda. This may take a little while. Okay. 
So as this is going, I'm probably just going to remain silent. And you can fast forward through the video or I'll cut it out post-processing. All right. Finish. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna learn anything. Finish. Start terminal again. So now we should have access to Conda. Nice. Again, if we want to use, um, see that. if we want to create Conda environments in order to work on certain projects, so it'll be conda create name can be testn python, you can select the version, so maybe I want numpy container. So numpy and pandas are typically the two base workhorses in uh, pretty much any scientific field that uses python It'll ask us everything that we want to install. We'll hit Y for yes. And it should eventually install everything. This is also taking a while, so in the interest of time, I might just cut this video. Since we covered the main steps of just getting things installed and mostly selecting the defaults, but we changed a couple things. So with that, I'll stop the video. Thanks for watching. Happy hacking!